Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. जेंडर इक्वालिटी की तरफ बढ़ने के लिए कई सारे सिस्टेमिक चेंजेस की जरूरत होती है कल्चर्स में यस मास कम्युनिकेशन का इस फील्ड में क्या योगदान है ये मुद्दा ना पेचीदा है थोड़ा इसको समझे Hey guys, my name is Sucharita. This is Film Companion. You're watching Not a Movie Review, and right now I am not going to be reviewing Gunjan Saxena, the Cargill Girl. तुम कमजोर हो गुंजन, और डिफेंस में कमजोरी के लिए कोई जगह नहीं. Inspired by the life of Flight Lieutenant Gunjan Saxena, who continues to be an Air Force officer, Gunjan Saxena, the Cargill Girl, despite having the name of an actual war in its title, is not about the war, and to a huge extent, is not even about Gunjan Saxena. While the story follows the Air Force officer's life. from when she was a kid till the cargill war it focuses mainly on what gunjan represents in a landscape that is both unreal and extremely relatable at the same time i approach war movies with slight trepidation now is this going to glorify violence is overt nationalism going to overshadow the storytelling is this going to be just another loud background scored yet bland depiction of events as they took place without attaching any nuance to the whole unfortunate and ghastly reality that a war is writers nikhil mehrotra and sharan sharma the latter also being the director don't focus on the chest thumping that inadvertently becomes the main focus of so many films about war their writing despite being set with Cargill in the background uh, despite almost all the main characters being soldiers is still about what it is to be a woman in this world trying to make space in male dominated fields ek scene mein gunjan apne maha progressive father played by the most amazing pankaj tripathi se ek raat panic mein kehti hai ki air force mein aise cadets hone chahiye jinme desh bhakti ho मुझे तो बस प्लेन उड़ाना है टू विच हर फादर रिप्लाइज दैट द एयर फोर्स नीड्स कडेट्स हु आर सिंसियर ऑनेस्ट एंड हार्ड वर्किंग नॉट पीपल हु विल जस्ट येल भारत माता की जय इस सीन को यहाँ क्यों डाला क्योंकि अभी तक तो ओनली कॉन्फ्लिक्ट द फिल्म हैड पुट फॉरवर्ड वॉज दैट नो वन टेक्स गुंजन सीरियसली वन शी सेज दैट शी वॉन्ट्स टू फ्लाई तो ये नया सेल्फ डाउट क्यों इसलिए क्योंकि फिल्म आपको स्टीयर कर रही है और सोलिडिफाई कर रही है अपना मैसेज दैट दिस इज नॉट अ टेल दैट वॉर्स आर फॉट एट बॉर्डर्स बट इट्स अबाउट बैटर्स दिस वुमेन हैड टू फाइट जस्ट टू बी एबल टू डू वॉट शी वॉन्टेड एंड दैट्स प्रिटी ग्रेट क्लैरिटी ऑफ थॉट डोंट यू थिंक डिरेक्टर ऑफ फोटोग्राफी मनुष नंदन टू डजेंट ट्रीट दिस लाइक अ वॉर फिल्म there are very few scenes of actual battle and guns and things most action sequences are rescue ops and um the camera operates on a human level as opposed to viewing people as killing machines acha you know what's refreshing the film's acknowledgement that women and men are different and for women to be taken seriously as people there doesn't need to be more men like behavior in their attitude in their traditional sense of the term to achieve this janvi kapoor borrows from her own personality she has a bit of sadness about her her face without moving a muscle even depicts deep seated unhappiness and a struggle to come to terms with sexist realities like the lack of women's toilets at her posting in udhampur she's soft spoken and slightly timid when we first meet her and remains so right till the end even when in war, or she doesn't suddenly turn into a tiger shroff and starts flying choppers while hanging upside down and shooting enemies at the same time she tells someone else to do it because she finds no joy in disobeying direct orders or yelling at her supervisors in one scene she uh, barges into a party and yells haphazardly at a senior officer here too she's confused about what she's hoping to achieve and her words are not words of a hero who's showing the soft villain his rightful place jiske baad soft villain ka hriday parivartan ho jayega but through the film gunjan is very much her own kind of woman feminine in her own way with only her determination as a tool to make her way through horribly unbalanced systems never tipped in her favor unlike last week's shakuntala devi this film doesn't cram too much into the screenplay when we meet gunjan at different ages in her life a fun little montage has her go from 10th pass to 12th pass to bachelor's degree these jumps are only used to establish her character and her relationship with a constantly present family and her gradual understanding of the aforementioned systems of the world as opposed to long drawn out episodes which come and go at breakneck speeds most of the actual action and conflict is set at the IAF institute in udhampur and some in shrinagar during the cargill war which really it gives us time and space to you know get involved the best dialogue very generously has been given to 
Pankaj Tripathi, who I thought just can't get enough of at all ever, please give me more. Because Gunjan is naive and unaware and her mother and older brother are not interested in empowering her much beyond education, it's her father who silently fights for her in every way possible. The machismo brought by Angad Bedi playing the older brother and Vineet Kumar playing a supervising officer is not rewarded at the end of the film. They actually kind of in slightly clumsy moments even accept defeat which I can't even believe is a real thing that happened. Ergo, like I said in the beginning, Kargil ki kahaniya sunkar unreal to lagti hai. Par ek aurat ki kahani har field mein ek choti battle ya badi war hoti hi hoti hai. Isliye jaan bujh kar ye generic message bar bar repeat kiya gaya hai jo film ko zara simplistic to banata hai lekin is mass communication ke medium ka sahi prayog bhi hai. Gunjan Singh Sena as a 24 year old only woman in the Kargil war contributed towards saving nearly a thousand lives. It's a story of determination and patriotism but also compassion and humanity. A mix of sentiments which Sharan Sharma balances quite successfully. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, Gunjan Saksana, the Kargil girl is 24 saal ki umar mein kya kar rahe thai aap? Mein radio pe tab gaane chala di di. 32 mein bhi aakar kya hi teer maar rahi hun? Subscribe to Film Companion. Ab film mein bhi aa rahi hai, toh mein bhi aati jati raho ngi. Jai Hind!